Welcome sa sip9.com. This video, tutuloy natin ating series on direct proportion. Ano? And in this video, ay magsusolve tayo ng uh, isang problem. No? So, if two pencils cost uh, 14 pesos, how many pencils can you buy with 42 pesos? So, given yung uh, cost, no? which is 14 pesos. 14 pesos. Maybe we shouldn't. Hindi na kailangan to. And then the number of pencils is of course 2. No? And then ilan daw yung pag 42 pesos. Okay. Uh, Ang daming ano no? Ang daming solution dito sa problem na to. No? Uh, pwede natin of course kunin yung isang side muna. O uh, yung isang pencil muna kung magkano. Remember, ang ano natin is proportion. So, ang solution one is gusto natin muna gamitin yung uh, sa previous videos natin. Ano ba nangyayari doon sa cost? Yung 14 saka 42. What happened? What happened? Ano nangyayari sa kanya? Diba direct proportion ito? So, nag times 3 siya. Sabi natin, Whatever ha happens to x, ganun din yung nangyayari sa y, no? I think x here is a pencil and y is the cost, no? So, nag uh, times 3 yung y mo, so dapat magda times 3 din yung x mo, di ba? So, this should be times 3. So, ang sagot dito ay, of course, 6. So, that's solution 1, no? This is solution 1. Solution 2, pwede natin gamitin yung al algebraic solution na, ah, uh, Pag uh, direct proportion, yung relationship, they have y equals kx. No? Medyo, medyo mahirap tong algebra, pero nandito kasi yung konsepto ng direct proportion. And later, kung magsasolve kayo ng problems na, na mas mahirap, kakailangan ninyo to, no So dito sa first uh, part, yung first pair, yung uh, y natin ay 14, di ba? So, 14 is equal to k, wala pa tayong uh, value ng k, times 2, yung x natin is 2, no? So, k is equal to, of course, divide both sides by 2, we have k equals 7. So, dito ang constant of proportionality natin ay 7. Next, paano natin i-apply to dito, no? So, ganun pa rin dito sa part na to, no? So, y equals kx, kx, Meron tayong value ng y, pero wala tayong value ng x, no? Ang x, ang x actually, hinahanap natin dito kasi meron na tayong k. Nakuha natin yung k dito. Eh. So, y, substitute lang natin, 42 is equal to k, which is 7, times x. No? So, dividing both sides by 7, we have 42 divided by 7. Equals x, and x is equal to 6. No? So, which is consistent with our answer here, no? Of course, pwede nyo rin gamitin yung ratio and proportion, although hindi pa natin, hindi pa natin na didiscuss yan. No? So, 14 is to 2, and then 42 is to x. No? So, pwede natin i-multiply yan. Uh, this is solution 3. Ang ano lang natin, ito lang, concern natin, ano? because our lesson is about proportion, but this is also possible. So, the product of the extremes, yung nasa labas is equal to the product of the means. So, 14x, the product of the extremes, is equal to the product of the means, which is 84. No? So, x equals 84 over 14, which I think is equal to 6. So, any of the solutions, pwede siya. No? Kung alin ang mas convenient. Ako, ito ang pinakamadali sa lahat. But you have to be sure, of course, that the relationship is... Using this, you have to be sure that the relationship is uh, direct proportion. Ay, mamaya, inverse proportion pala, so hindi mo ito pwedeng gamitin. Okay, so maraming salamat. Uh, I hope meron kang natutunan sa video na to. Maraming salamat. And see you in the next tutorial.